So in this video I want to have a look at the town of Saratoga Springs, uh, New York State. A small town. Uh, it was by request actually a comment uh, on one of my videos directed me to this town. So I figured I'd have a look. Um, small town north of Albany, Sarasota Springs. And the name implies springs, water, right? So um, part of the history of this place is that it was a rejuvenating uh, hot springs, a location for a rejuvenating hot springs. Um, and it became known as a getaway for a lot of, uh, I guess, wealthy um, Americans. This is also in the park. It's looking like very old. have a couple more of the visually decorative features you find in, in the parks in Sarasota Springs. This one interesting. Got the ball looking like a flagpole. Where's the flag? Must have forgot it. Get to some of the architecture. Uh, imagine so that whole Victor Victorian era of building um, you'll see throughout this town. A lot of them are postcards. Hard to find photographs for many of these places church. Of course, you always get to churches in these towns. Uh, and then we get a bit of a look at a couple of the hotels. This one they're calling Three Grand Hotels. We'll get to that. So you see a lot of this arch architecture um, in a lot of the different, uh, different purposed buildings in the town. Here's the Hall of Springs. This the drink hall have to do with the um, the bottling of the waters, the mineral waters. So a train station. There'll be a little bit more on train stations a little bit later. And we get to the armory. Okay, and these, the armory narrative pops up um, very often in my research. Um, I find it a little suspicious that so many of these cities and towns had castle-like arm armories. Um, so Saratoga Springs, no stranger to armories, but we have this one and we have this one, both saying they're from Saratoga Springs. You can see the similarities in the architecture, but quite a different look. So I found that to be intriguing. Which one came first? I don't know. Um, and then we get into the hotel hotel narrative here, Saratoga Springs. So, really became a getaway for uh, um, horse racing. So I would, that would be gambling as well. And it became a hot spot for gambling in general. Um, it's kind of a romantic vision of this uh, this town being uh, um, quite the party town. I would say, you know, famous gangsters and it has a history of um, wealthy. Um, politicians, things like that, making this a getaway. Um, this is called the Bachelor Mansion. Interesting architecture here. Hard to make out. Beth Bethesda's church, another church. So the castle look continues. Um, we have a kind of a street view look. I've got some better ones coming. Now we get to the. They're calling it the Saratoga Clubhouse here. Um, actually, um, called the Canfield Casino now. There's no doubt that this uh, town would have to have been built on some sort of tourism narrative because the uh, demographics are quite small. So if we could quickly have a look at the population demographics for Saratoga Springs, not much going on, not much growth in this this time period here. Um, even modern day, less than thirty thousand. It's a very small town. Very small town with some ornate architecture. This is the casino still, Canfield Casino. This is a very unique feature. Uh, octagonal windows, ceiling, archways, columns. This is the casino from the outside, modern day. Get a sense for it. That common look we see all over. This one pretty hazy hospital of some sort. 
like I said, hard to find. A lot of these were, had to be dug up in their hospital. Uh, we get to the mineral water dispensing fountains. See the column. Definitely have an interesting sort of Greek uh, Roman feel to this town. Classical feel, I'll say. You'll see more on that as well. That's the convention hall. Um, these ones really interesting looking. I've got a better picture of that. This is them without the domes. Obviously this one coming after, but you, and then you see that the street level tapering down there again. So some interesting things to point out there. There it is. Uh, better look at it in the black and white. Those domes looking very prominent, very in your face. Um, all this built for tourism purposes is uh, the narrative. Get a lot of information on this. I'm assuming it's Saratoga Springs, but I don't know for sure on this one. So hope you'll excuse me if that's not accurate. We get to the Grand Union Hotel, one of a handful of hotels that no longer exist. Another hotel. But back to the Grand Union. Hard to get a sense of, uh, of what we're looking at here, but there's definitely a old world romance to this place. There you have it again. Although I have also seen this um, described as a congressional hall, so a little bit confusing there too. Is that the same building as, as the Grand Union in this picture? Hard to say. I don't know. Confusing there to, to be sure. So a look at the interior. Very ornate. Right. Not very clear either. Tried to bring you as many as I could find. Uh, Grand Union Parlor here. Can you see the uh, attention to detail? Some cherub action on the back there. A uh, street scene. Grand Union. Very good a sense for how this thing is built. Another street scene. I find these interesting. So that's like the double column look. With all that tied in. It's uh, very unique. There, there's a better look at it. That narrow double column. Sort of how all this ties together. Very unique. Uh, aesthetically pleasing, for sure. Another hotel we saw previous. No, no pictures. Really hard to find photographs. A lot of these. We get to what they call the House of Pansa. That's like a column central area. This is uh, that sort of Greek um, uh, sense I was talking about. We'll get back to it in a second here. The community hall with the brick, brick front, arches, columns. Masonic Hall decorated for a celebration. You have the, the brick streets as well, right? So they have the built out curbs and well placed architecture and infrastructure. Here you have the front end of the Broadway Street. I believe that is the Grand Union Hotel. Although it may be the United States Hotel as well, which you'll see shortly. Uh, parks have these interesting arched um, bridges as well in the area. A bit of that bumpy feel going on with some of them. Um, hard to date some of those when you look at them. Looking all, much older than, than they would be described, I would assume. Another old hospital. Okay, back to the Pansa House so the interior. This is a better picture of that columned central area. Uh, you get a sense for the the ceilings as well, and then, you know, this is a very interesting home. Another couple shots from that house. 
unique. You have a bit of a Greek feel, maybe almost Egyptian, not quite. Interesting, interesting home for sure. I'd like to tour that one. Post office, of course. Gotta have the post office. Um, another interesting look here. You see the, the slope there. These windows looking like maybe that the bottom sides have been filled in. Maybe a bit of a mud flutter. And Saratoga Springs, um, popular for a racing, like I said. Um, what is the slogan? Yeah, they call it the place where the champions go to to die. Basically, basically meaning uh, upsets are common at Saratoga Springs. And they have the sitting area, seating area. And a decent view there. Some of them, have, some of them flags, some don't. All part of the architecture. Very interesting. I'd like to go check out a race there as well. All right, another one of the bridges. This uh, having to do with the railway, we're told. Um, very looking, very very old, aged. This one here, um, built right in, sort of canal type, right? Part of that infrastructure. So showing its age here. Here we have a train station. Not the best picture. This also a railway off it. And this one's actually pretty interesting, I think. It's, you have this lower section, it looks like there's a rail track. The train would probably come right up to that. Um, interesting building, for sure. Lower section of stone. And not far away, you have the Saratoga Monument. It's a big obelisk for you. This is a school of art. It's difficult to make that out. But having this similar architecture, oh, past that one. Now the church, stonework, circular windows, ticking all the boxes. Yet another uh, look at the Elmwood Hall here. It's very obscure. Hard to pin down. When we get to the United States Hotel, this would be the interior court. United States Hotel. Once the largest hotel in the world, we are told. Here it is here, postcard version. Not a lot of great pictures of the entire thing. So you get a sense of the size here. Um, torn down in the 50s, I believe. Here's a street scene. Colorized street scene. Quite a good photo actually. This on the on the left here would be the United States Hotel. I really like this one. That gives you a, a real feel for what life was like at the turn of the century. This is like 1902 or something like that. Um, what jumps out at me, and the buildings is one thing for sure. I've mentioned this in a lot of my previous videos, is the, the sidewalk um, curb infrastructure and how well built out all this is and the trees are have been here for a while so all this looking like it's not recent all this looking like it's been uh, a part of life there for a long time so the issue I have is when we talk about these buildings and they, they slap a date on some of these having within a year or two of the uh, um, photographs often um, I have a trouble sort of wrapping my head around this all being brand new um, looking like it's been there for a while also you have to dig fairly deep for a lot of these types of buildings um, they have to have deep foundations uh, what we do in the modern day with these types of buildings is we um, when we backfill we replace the dirt and for those of you that don't know I don't uh, I do know, I don't mean to condescend, I just want to explain the process here. So if I built this building here, uh, it's all finished, ready to go, people are ready to uh, stay in the hotel. All of this needs to be backfilled. And what we do in the modern days, we backfill with our machinery and we use packers um, or devices basically that stamp the backfill back down to a specific compression um, to the point where it's not going to settle very much. Okay, so one of the problems with the narrative um, that really jumps out at me is um, 
the whole backfill process. What were they doing there? What were they using to make sure all of the all of the fill would would uh, stay where it needs to be? Right. And that's an often overlooked aspect to this narrative as well. Is there something else here too? Um, and remember, uh, electricity uh, supposedly very new at the time, but this built right into the architecture, looking like it's been there a while. I'll just center my screen. I'm getting to the end here. I just wanted to bring you some of the features of Saratoga Springs. Uh, interior shot of the hotel. And again, look at all this, right? This is... I love the chandeliers in these old buildings. Street shot of the hotel again. Remember, the largest hotel in the world at the time. So the largest hotel in the world was in such a small town. So you really have to play up that tourism narrative. There, an old rendering of the hotel in all its splendor. It really feels like a like a different place, you know. We're getting now to what they call the Universal Preservation Hall. Previously a church, I think Methodist. And keep in mind we've got the uh, organ there. Okay, this is the one we're looking at here is on the left. There it is. A postcard. Yeah, First Methodist Episcopal Church. Now the Universal Preservation Hall. There it is. Closer to modern day. Look at the difference here too. Check the tops of these out. Let's go back. This one, very different. Uh, that one as well. Worth noting, uh, and wondering why why the changes. And usually they'll explain there was a fire, there was damage, or something like that. But it feels systematic to me. Um, the dulling down of uh, old architecture into something much more plain. Warden Hotel. Don't get to see that very well. All right, we get to the final. A uh, little piece of Saratoga Springs I wanted to share with you. Um, this is the Iado grounds. And we'll take a look at Iado. Um, Iado is an artist's community located on a 400 acre estate in Saratoga Springs. There it is, circa 1905. Um, formation 1926. I don't know. Confusing on the years there. Um, basically, where they pumped out these uh, artists, it was like a retreat for artists to hone their craft. Um, the state was purchased in 1881 by Spencer Trask, this fellow here, and his wife, Katrina T Trask. Another interesting little part of the narrative here, the first mansion on the property burned down in 1893, and then the Trasks built the current house. So remember this photo here, 1905. So not a huge time difference between that fire and this thing. This thing looks like it's been there for a little bit longer than less than a decade. Um, so this is the Yaddo. Um, the name Yaddo I read somewhere that it was a little little chi a child's pronunciation of the word shadow which I thought was interesting as well. Also some weird stuff tied into uh, um, Soviet spies and things like that as, as they move through time here. McCarthy era right here. You can check it out on, on Wiki Wikipedia. Just wanted to bring you a couple photos of uh, of, of Yaddo here. This is what they call the tower in the woods. Interesting. Having that real old feel to it as well. Here's a shot of the mansion. And I don't think it really was um, the Spencer character's home. They had four children, all of which died early in life. So one of those fishy narratives where no descendants, no, ch no real um, nothing coming down through history but a story. So, inheritors? I think so. Um, this is the mansion, what it looks, actually looks like. Um, take a look at the texture on the stonework here. Incredible. I've got some shots of the interior as well before we call it video. Here we have the living room area. So very, uh, and again, remember that timeline. It's the original one burnt down 1893. Uh, this one we saw the picture from 1905, so somewhere in that time period, all this going together, throwing together, I would say. Um, and this is the stairway. Um, yeah, this is supposed to be the lady 
um, Trask, can't remember the first name. Um, have a look at these. Very ornate mansion. Um, yeah, so that's a that's a little bit of Saratoga Springs. They're actually a really interesting um, little town. Um, I wanted to bring you what I what I could find. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.